You can see me, we good. Let's go in on eggs, all right? I got a video dropping tonight. Shout out to Alberta. I believe that's Canada, San Antonio, H-Town, D.C. Today's topic is do you eat eggs? Comment below if you eat eggs, all right? Video dropping tonight. But y'all getting the behind the scenes. England in the building. Let's get it. D.C. in the building. All right, I see a lot of yeses. I see a lot of yeses. All right. Stop eating eggs, all right? Stop eating eggs. They're unhealthy, all right? They're so unhealthy. The CDC, the Food Administration, they literally have made it illegal to promote eggs as a nutritious and healthy food. There's one. So it's literally illegal to promote it as a healthy food. Yet for some reason, so many people have this misconception that it's a healthy food. I eat eggs, I'm healthy, right? Wrong, all right? It's illegal to promote it as a healthy food. That's one, all right? Not to mention one horrible egg, all right, hits, what is that comment? One hard-boiled egg gives you about as much cholesterol as the daily recommendation, all right? So if you eat two eggs, hard-boiled, whatever, scrambled, you're already over your limit of how much cholesterol you should have in a day, all right? Not to mention second leading cause of salmonella in the world is from eggs. The first leading cause, chicken. I already went in on chicken, all right? So we ain't got to touch on that, all right? Second leading cause of salmonella in the world is from eggs. All right, so that's like three facts for you right there. All right, there's many studies showing that eating just three to five eggs per week, just three to five per week, doubles your chance of getting diabetes. All right, there's many scientifically backed researches and studies proving this, all right? So let's go in on eggs, right? So I'm posting a video tonight, y'all know how I do. I'm gonna hit all those facts in about 30 to 60 seconds. Get a bunch of negative comments. You don't have to be convinced. Keep eating your eggs. <laughs> I know you have an emotional attachment to these food. Somebody told you they were healthy. You grew up on them. So some of us are hard-headed no matter what they do to us. We're never going to stop. So you don't have to be convinced. Numbers don't lie. Right? There's a reason diseases on the rise. There's a reason diabetes is on the rise. There's a reason cancer is on the rise. There's a reason high blood pressure is on the rise. There's a reason every disease known to man is on the rise because our diet and us continue to eat these foods that for some reason we were told or believed that are healthy, even though we're still not convinced, right? <laughs> so all we can do is hope you're not part of the statistics, right? Because statistics keep going up, right? The world keeps getting less and less healthy, all right? So let's fact check some of this stuff, right? I know normally when I go live, I just go in. But lately, I'm like, yo, let me have my laptop with me so we can make sure we touch on things. If you just joined, we talked about, I asked y'all, do you eat eggs? All right. And we just hit like four to five little quick facts as to why eggs are unhealthy. All right. So, boom. Let's look at the laptop. Let me see if I can get it lined up. Let's see if I can get it. How we gonna do this? I'll just hold it, forget it. Let me hold it, let me hold it, all right. Bang, simply put, the US Department of Agriculture told the egg industry that it was illegal to label eggs as nutritious or healthy as there are rules against false and misleading advertisement. It is illegal to promote eggs as being healthy, all right? USDA says eggs aren't healthy or safe. In spite of what you may think and believe, the USDA says that eggs aren't healthy or safe if you are one of those that has egg or two for breakfast, you may want to reconsider your choice. According to the Freedom of Information Act documents, U.S. Department of Agriculture warned the egg industry that saying eggs are nutritious or safe may violate rules against false or misleading advertising. Now, they just told you that saying eggs are even safe is considered false and misleading, right? Crazy. Crazy. So, there's one for you. Then we talked about, let's look at, let's see, let's see what we got, what we got. What's your recommendation for cholesterol per day? All right. Doctors used to recommend that you consume no more than 300 milligrams 
of dietary cholesterol per day, 200 milligrams if you had high risk of heart disease, right? All right, so you're looking at no more than 300 milligrams, 200 if you have heart disease, right? Or if you're high risk, right? One, one egg almost exceeds that limit. So you eat two eggs per day, you've already crushed that limit. So you're way over the limit, right? You're way over the limit on cholesterol, right? Then you have the people that will say, well, there's good cholesterol and there's bad cholesterol. And they say that, and most of them don't even know what the two types of cholesterol are, right? So let's break that down. Let's see. So when it comes to cholesterol, you have HDL, you have LDL, all right? So what you want to watch out for is your LDL. LDL stands for low-density lipoprotein, all right? So that's considered bad protein. So let's look up what type of cholesterol you're getting from eggs. Because people say, well, the cholesterol you're getting from eggs is good cholesterol. Here we go. Eggs, lipoprotein includes LDL and HDL. The LDL in the yolk accounts for about two-thirds of the dry matter of the egg yolk, which can be divided into the soluble parts of whey part. So that right there just lets you know two-thirds of the egg yolk is bad protein, LDL, low-density lipoprotein. All right, so no, the majority of the egg you're eating is not good protein, it's bad protein. So there's, you know, a fact check myself for y'all, right? All right, let's see, what else we got? I didn't hit y'all with like five things. I'm giving y'all articles, research by scientists, all that, all right? And if you're missing this, if you're just joining in, it's gonna be posted to my YouTube channel. Search me on YouTube, T-Walk the Hawk, or YouTube.com slash T-Walk the Hawk, so you can rewatch all my lives, you can take notes, you can pause it, whatever you need to do. You can search up the articles yourself, whatever you need to do, all right? What we got next? Contamination of eggs and eggshells has been identified as one of the major causes of foodborne salmonella in the United States between 1985 to 2002, contamination of eggs was identified as the source of 53% of all cases of salmonella reported to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. So 53% of all salmonella cases come from eggs, right? Eggs are the second leading cause of salmonella in the world behind what? Chicken, which we've already <laughs> done like two or three videos on chicken, so I don't need to even touch on that anymore, right? So there's another thing for you. But again, we have emotional attachments to these foods. Hey, facts, you should file a lawsuit, right? What else we got? We have studies, right? Here we go. Let me see. Da, da, da. Here we go. Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. All right, here we go. Consuming one or more eggs per day may increase the risk of diabetes by 60%. Increase your risk of diabetes by 60% consuming just one or more per day. According to a study published by the British Journal of Nutrition, researchers compared egg consumption with blood glucose levels in more than 8,000 participants from the China Health and Nutrition Survey. So consuming just one or more eggs per day, increase your risk of diabetes by 60%. That's crazy, right? That is nuts. But yet we still put it, look how many yeses I had when I asked, do you eat eggs, right? That's one study. Well, they took 8,000 participants. This next one, they took 200,000 participants. Consuming three or more eggs per week, increase, just three eggs per week. Increase in Americans' risk for type 2 diabetes, according to a meta-analysis published by the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Researchers analyzed, and analyzed 12 cohort studies that encompassed over 200,000 participants and their egg consumption and risk for type 2 diabetes. In the United States, those who consume the most eggs experience a 39% higher risk of diabetes compared to those who consume the least. So on that study, they did 200,000 participants, about 40%. It showed that you have a higher risk of diabetes. The other study that did 8,000 people, and it showed a 6,000, or sorry, 60% more likely to get diabetes. All right, so that's like six, seven things for y'all on eggs right there, all right? Egg whites is still coming from the egg, and we can dive deeper, but let's just, let's leave it there, and maybe we'll do a part two. 
Because don't think, oh, I'm pulling the yolk out. I'm good. It's just the egg white, right? So now we don't have to worry about the cholesterol anymore, but we're still got to worry about many other things, which we'll touch on. All right. So again, if you're just tuning in, we talking about eggs. I just went in, showed y'all documentation, showed y'all research, anything you can simply research. But again, as I always say, what do I say? They know we don't read. We just put food in our mouth. We wake up, we put food in our mouth, we go to work, we get lunch break, we put food in our mouth, we go back to work, we're stressed because we had our damn job. We get home, we stress eat, we put food in our mouth, we chill for a little bit, watch TV, maybe work out, we put more food in our mouth, and we don't read, right? We ain't thinking about what we put in our mouth at the time, but we think we're doing something healthy. We ain't doing nothing healthy at all. That's why disease is constantly on the rise. Even though health and stuff is getting more popular and stuff like that, there's more whole foods popping up, disease is still on the rise. So obviously that isn't working, right? Because I can go to a whole, what I should do is I'm going to go live in whole foods because people think if I get it at whole foods or I get it at Trader Joe's, it's got to be healthy. I'm going to walk down the aisle and show you how 95% of the food in whole foods and Trader Joe's is still unhealthy, right? That should be my next live. Let me know if y'all want to see that. I need to show y'all what to get, how to point out certain things. If you watched my live the other day, it's on my YouTube. I showed you what I got at the grocery store. So you have an idea, but I'm actually do it in the thing. Organic eggs doesn't change anything, all right? Let's see. Actually, I think I had an article up on that too. The U.S. Court of Appeals ruled that the egg industry was lying to the public with its insistent that eggs are not bad for one's health and that there was no scientific proof that eggs can lead to a heart problem since the American Egg Board has spent six millions. Yeah, so the American Egg Board is spending mad money to try to get them to change this law so they can promote it as healthy. It's not working. And we talk about, somebody said organic eggs, free range eggs. Free range isn't as good as it may seem. Free range and humane egg labels are misleading in, com in complex terms as there is little to no legal precedence that can help dictate what is and isn't ethical and compassionate. 20,000 chickens in one barn is still considered free range. So when you hear free range, stuff like that, as I just said, 20,000 chickens in one barn, they'd be crawling over each other. They end up dying. They actually eat each other, right? Which we already talked about in the chicken video. Most of these chickens that are laying your eggs are mutant chickens. They're not real. They're a Cornish chicken, right? Their breasts are so big they can barely walk. If it's a thunderstorm, when the thunder rumbles, they have heart attacks because their hearts are so bad because they're fake mutant created chickens, right? And these are what's laying your eggs. So we can keep going deeper and deeper, right? I talked about all that in the chicken video, right? So again, cage-free doesn't mean anything. In fact, eggs labeled as cage-free can still come from chickens in cages. Cage-free eggs are largely a myth. Most eggs are from... Not now. Sorry, I had an update on my phone pop up. Between 95 to 98% of all eggs come from massive overcrowded factory farms, meaning that the mom and pop farms that will argue that these practices don't happen on the farm to their chickens aren't relevant to this conversation. Facts. So yeah, I mean, we can go forever. <laughs> we can go forever. But again, y'all know I usually, I'll just give you this off the top, but I'm like, you know what? What I'm gonna start doing for my lives is I'm gonna actually give y'all sources that y'all can read. So you can look it up your damn self, right? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading some of the comments. Yeah, they're not a good source of protein. You can use them as a source of protein. They're not a good source of protein. They're doing much more harm than good. Again, free range. Whoever said that, buy from your local neighborhood who sell free range. Doesn't change the fact of anything I just said. Free range, organic. Organic just means that they have to have a door where they can walk outside. Free range, they still have 20,000 chickens crawling over each other. Doesn't change anything, all right? And it still doesn't change the fact it's coming from a Cornish chicken, which is a fake mutant hybrid chicken. All right. These are the chickens that you're eating, especially if you're in the U.S. You're not getting an actual chicken. All right. Which I talked about in my chicken video.
What about protein shakes? What do you mean? Most protein shakes and the supplements you get from GNC are filled with a bunch of fillers. It's a bunch of nonsense. They're charging you so much money. It costs them about a few dollars to make them big tubs of $50, $60 protein. And it's filled with a bunch of nonsense, chemicals, and literally what they call fillers in the supplement industry, which just fill out the jug, but it's basically nothing but sugars. That reminds me, I wonder if I have this email. That brings me to a good point. I think it's on my other email. Let me pull it up. I got an email. I've been getting emails because I got a big following. So I get a lot of emails from companies trying to pay me to promote stuff, right? Uh, I don't know if I can find it. It literally was 